So let's get started with some basic layer um, features. I'm going to kind of be short in these videos. I know I can be a little long-winded. Um, these are covered in detail in the lecture, and so if my little short snippet demos are not working for you, you can always go back and watch the lecture on layer essentials or the basics of using layers. Um, I'm just going to open a random image. I have the same image opened, or I don't even have it open. I'm going to open the same image that I had for the previous activity that we learned how to crop and different things about pixels. Um, and I'm just going to go through these um, pretty quickly. Um, you can create and duplicate layers pretty quickly in Photoshop, and you can either create new layers or layers from the selection. This first video will talk about creating new layers. And so uh, when you are starting to work with layers, every document that you create will either have a background layer or will have a layer one. You cannot edit background layers. You either have to convert them to be a, quote, real layer, or you need to duplicate them. And so let's talk about duplicating layers first, and then I'll show you how to create a blank layer. And so I'm a fan of leaving the background be, and I duplicate it a lot. So you could double click, and you can convert the background to be a new layer, which would be layer one or you can right click on the background and choose to duplicate the layer. When you do that, the background will remain the same. It'll, it's locked, you can't edit it, but you can edit the background copy layer, which is what I would prefer you to do because now you're taking another step towards non-destructive editing where you're duplicating that background and you're not gonna use it. Now, sometimes you're editing and you need additional layers because you wanna separate elements or you want to create new content. If you need a blank layer, you can create a new layer in the bottom right hand corner of your layers panel and you can use a little piece of paper with the corner turned up and that is the new or the create new layer icon. And that's the new icon on any panel that you see it on. And so if you're on the layers panel, it's a new layer. If you're on the color swatches panel, it's a new color swatch, etc. And so when you select that, it's going to create a new layer and that layer will go above the layer you have selected. And so I've got background copy selected. If I create a new layer, layer one is now above the background copy. If I wanted it to be below the background copy, I would have to select the original background layer and create a new layer. It would go above that layer, and then you can see that it went below the background copy. You cannot put anything below the background. It has to be the last layer. And so if you try to drag and drop layers, you can reposition them, which we'll talk about in a new video. Um, but you cannot put anything below the original background layer, so keep that in mind.